welcome back to my channel this is my um i've been meaning to do like a video because you know i've been wanting to put more videos up of the kinds of look that i do uh this is my valentine's day inspired look you know so i just wanted to go ahead and do crazy makeup kind of you know not too glam not too like hey eh, you know i did end up doing some hearts and everything and if you continue watching my video you're gonna see how i created this look if you like what you see, you can go ahead and subscribe and like like my picture video. I'm sorry, I'm so used to saying picture because of Instagram, but I mean video. And you know, just go ahead and keep on watching. To start off, I am going to use this um, primer, kind of like a lotion primer. Like it's really good for dry skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right now. Okay, so now I'm going to use Fit Me for foundation. This is the shade Buff Beige 130 from Dewy Plus Smooth. I actually, it says normal to dry skin. This is actually like super good because I tend to have like dry skin. So the oil, like the, the fact that it's dewy, it doesn't make my face look dry whatsoever, like at all. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that with my foundation brush okay now I am going to blend with my beauty blender this is gonna be a bitch okay next I'm going to use a Age Rewind Concealer. As you can tell, I have been using it a lot. This is my, so far, ultimate favorite concealer for my under eyes because I tend to have really dark under eye circles. So go ahead and apply. Okay, and then now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and blend. Honestly, ignore this pimple, like, I don't even know. I didn't want to color correct today. Because I didn't think I need to, but then I saw that. And I should have done it. I am using the My Beauty Mark setting powder for this. I just like pressing it in against my face I don't really bake that much just because I have noticed that like I don't know I just still tend to crease and I just feel like when I bake it's just too much of the the translucent powder in my face and it's just I don't know at the end of the day like when I go outside I just start seeing like too much powder and I'm I don't know I just really don't like that okay get a brush this is my Mikasa F 111 brush they came in their AP set and I just go ahead get more of the translucent powder and just kind of brush it in your skin now and just take some of it off from her under eye I mean my eyes still gonna crease no matter what that's just the kind of eye that I have I just tend to just crease so I just kind of you know Deal with it. I'm going to use for my contour the shading like from Cab on D. I use this shade over here and then I'm gonna go ahead and get an angled brush and go ahead and start with the corner of this might enhance the pimple more but there's nothing I could do about that. I mean I could have I just could have colored correct but I didn't but, you know, that's how life is. It's a little bit of a bitch. And then I like getting my temples and then go ahead and just contour. The next thing I am going to use is this Manicador Beauty. 
I got it in my Ipsy bag. This is like a pinkish, coralish, has a little bit of shimmer kind of um, blush. So I just like getting a fluffy brush and then just go ahead and dab that. And then just press it against. I try to get little by little because I'm not really a blush girl, but. Just press. This also helps as a highlight because it has somewhat of a shimmer. So when you put your highlight up in there, it's going to help it out a lot. Okay. Then after that, for my highlight, my ultimate, 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 ultimate favorite, it is the Melt Cosmetics um, Harsh Stone White. And I like grabbing that with the stippling. This is the small, the Elf Small Stippling Brush that I got at Walmart. Yeah. And then I just go ahead and dab the brush. Tap. And then I put it right on top of my cheekbone, all the way by where my temple's at. And Bam, 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 bam. Okay, you can't forget that nose so you can have a shiny, 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 shiny nose. Then after that, we're gonna start off with the eyes. Okay, and since we are doing like a Valentine's Day look, I am going to go ahead and grab my Too Faced chocolate bar and I'm going to start with my color Strawberry Bonbon. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And start adding I'm gonna use lime crime the color rebirth right over here this which is kind of like a coily pink shade okay Okay, and then after that, to deepen these, it looks crazy right now, but trust me, it's gonna come through right now. Okay, and then to add more like of a depth to it, I am going to use another brush. And then I'm gonna add more of the, I'm gonna go ahead and add the radioactive shade from Melt to add more like brightness towards it, towards the crease part. Melt and Kat Von D right now are like my ultimate favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Venus. From the Lime Crime palette, Lime Crime, yeah, the first one. You know how there's two with well, the first one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab Venus and then just add more depth into the crease. Okay, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply Rebirth shade from the Lime Crime onto my lid. To create, to add more like of a highlight tone, use the Kevon D, the Alchemist Holographic Palette in the shade Pink Opal. You can go ahead and use the purple one. I think I'm going to use both. Go ahead and add that into my lid. 
go ahead and grab these two shades for the corner of the eye right over here you can go ahead and mix the colors i'm thinking of mixing the purple and the pink together i feel like the adding the purple right now is like giving it more of a making it stand out way more I'm just gonna add it right Okay, and then I kind of do want to add some on my lid, so I'm going to go ahead and add the pink first. There you go. This is like a blown out pink look for Valentine's Day. That, I'm going to use the Backstage Bambi from Kat Von D, and I'm just going to add some of the dots. Like I'm actually, I bought this at... Sally's, you can go ahead and buy this at Sally's or where they have anything that has to do with nail art, you know, products or tools. And then you can go ahead and place them anywhere you like. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab, this is Backstage Bambi, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a lighter shade of pink which is lovesick by also Kat Von D and I'm just gonna grab the other side of this and then add more dots but on the darker side so you know you can see the light of it you know and then I kind of do feel like drawing a little heart there, so I am going ahead and I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that with black so you could see it, and I am grabbing my NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black. Okay, and then go ahead and draw the little hearts. Couldn't breathe okay and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and start with my lashes for my lashes I am gonna use the cream shop lashes which are over here they're really like thin lashes you know I'm not gonna go crazy with them but so what I like to do since I am gonna reuse them I like to take off any excess glue that it has on do is I am going to apply the glue on right now and then on the lashes and then while I'm curling them and putting like you know mascara on I'm gonna go ahead and apply them after okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and just add some mascara I am using my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara this is honestly a really good mascara like I got it in my Ipsy bag and I honest I wanna buy the the full size one yes I wanna buy the full size one I do apply my mascara because you get all the hairs from the bottom to the top. It just gives like the lashes like this natural look like it's not tacky or anything like that. Like this mascara is so good. I honestly do recommend it. <laughs> There you go. This is my Valentine's look. I didn't do like all really glamorous. I just wanted to do like an out bam look, you know, for you guys. And then now I am gonna go ahead and apply on my lips. I'm thinking of doing like this like ombre look for my lips. So I am grabbing my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. This one's in shade Trophy Wife. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my lips. Mm. 
So I just applied it all over on the outer of my lips. And then I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Venus to add more of like an ombre look to it. So this is so far the look and then I'm going to go ahead and actually just do my brows. For my brows I am going to be using my NYX eyebrow gel in black and I like to use it like I can also apply it in the back of my hand or into a, like a little surface anything that you don't need you know but I am going to go ahead and apply it on this my little plate that I have over here and then I'm going to go ahead and where's my brush where's my brush I found it it's right over here and it's high. Okay, fine. So this is an angled brush that I really, 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 really do like. And it is from Mikasa, of course. Mikasa brush. And it's the E100 brush. This is like a super flat brush. Angled brush. That is really good for your eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the eyebrow gel from NYX. And then go into my brows. Okay, and then after that, I am going to use my nose. And after that, I am going to use my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in black to just kind of tame my hairs because I tend to have like really curly brows. Sometimes my hairs are like curly somehow. I don't know. Well, I have naturally curly hair, so this is like somewhat of my hair, you know? And then I'm just going to go ahead and brush it up on my brush it on my brows to tame them mother effers in. Valentine's Day look, inspired look. Um, I could have gone all glam, but like I said, this is my thing. I like doing crazy stuff on my face. And I thought this would be really cute for anybody that likes crazy makeup. <laughs> 